It's your boy, Big Kelv, repping that seven day genetics, and y'all know how I do it. I work out seven days, seven days. Now back to my segment that I call the real truth in which I talk about things that bug me. Well, not always. Sometimes it's th not things that bug me. It's just more of an educational piece so, to give you some perspective. What I want to talk about today is the misconception that you have to lift super heavy to get any results. Okay. It's very simple. If you lift you know very heavy and get three reps in what has your muscles learned let me put it into perspective like this if you drive home every day from the same location every day after a while you no longer need to think about the trip because you know it you're trained to it whereas if you take a trip three times a year you may not remember how to get to that location so put that in terms of muscle if you only do three reps your muscles aren't going to learn anything they won't remember that route but if you work out and get let's say between 15 to 25 reps your muscles are going to learn that route now the optimum they say is between some people say 8 to 12 some people say 10 to 12 whatever to to get you know your muscles to actually get the effect from lifting the weights constantly all right so i've been doing this for years and i'm finding that that is not optimal for me so what i'm going to do and I never ego lift, but I'll just say it in terms of this. Take that ego out, drop the weight a bit so you can do more reps. So now I'm trying to push out between 15 to 25 reps. Now, today I did that and I definitely feel more of a pump than I usually do if I do 12 reps. A lot more of a pump. And it's a much lighter weight. So at first, when you get the first couple reps in, you're thinking to yourself, this is some Mickey Mouse bullshit. But once you get to like 12, 13 14 then all of a sudden you're like oh here we go once you get up to like 20 they're burning because now what you're doing is you're forcing your body to do more reps even if at a lighter weight it's going to push more blood into that muscle and give you that pump and that's what you want i'm finding that 8 to 12 10 to 12 for some reason it's not giving me a good enough pump but as i stated doing 15 to 25 is definitely giving me that pump now the reason i say 15 to 25 i don't mean necessarily count them just do as many as you can do but try to be in that range that's it now if you somewhere at 30 and some crazy numbers then maybe it's a little too light but if you feel like you get to 20 and you can't do another one that's your right range that's the right weight and you can actually get some great results with that uh, right now i'm telling you i'm pumped i feel it feels nice so the thing is if you're finding that 10 to 12 8 to 12 is not working for you try to do high intensity like i'm doing and, and do high reps see if that does something for you it just might but don't get stuck in that mind state that you have to lift stupidly heavy to get some results and the reason i bring that up is because there's a guy who goes to my gym and he asked me, he was like, yo, give me, can, can you give me a spot? I was like, sure, my dude. So I give him a spot. He do one rep and put it back up there. Now, that's fine if you just want to check your one rep max. That's all he does. Everything he does, he's doing like one to two reps. And that's it. That's not even like fatigue. That's like instant failure just like ugh, failure I, I don't know what your body can learn from that i just don't think that's the best thing now if you're on steroids i'm going to tell you if you're on steroids you still have to do the work but could you get something out of doing three to four reps hell yeah because you're on steroids your body is going to push a much heavier weight so if you bounce up to a stupidly heavy weight and you're getting four reps 
Oh yeah, your body's gonna get something out of it. But if you're natural, man, stick to normal shit. And I just wanted to to go up to this dude and smack the shit out of him, tell him fuck out of here because you're doing stuff that is not gonna give you any results. And he and it was clear that it wasn't giving him any results. But he didn't think so. He's walking around like he's big. And I'm like, the only reason you're big is because you're fat. But anyways, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. If you're not the type to subscribe, that's cool too. Just watch my damn videos and make sure you're signed in when you do. Also, if you have an idea for an upcoming video, go on and post in the comments below. And if I agree and it's something that bothers me like it bothers you, I'll make a video about it. But if not, then I won't. Don't get butt hurt because I won't give a shit. That, once again, that does not mean I don't give a shit what you think. It just means I don't give a shit what you think. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I just, I just have an opinion about things. And if I don't necessarily agree with it, it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that in that moment, that's not what's going to work for me. That's it. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kelv. And as usual, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.